The Chargers actually won last week. They're now 2-5, and five, but it came with a cost as quarterback Phillip Rivers dislocated his elbow. Or, I think it was his elbow, yeah. And he's going to be out for about a month. So, the Chargers, instead of starting Kellen Clemens, they made a deal involving the Green Bay Packers as last week was the trade deadline. The trade deadline has just passed. They sent Craig Mager, a backup corner, Karan Reed, a backup defensive lineman, and a 7th round pick to get Brett Hundley, who will be the Chargers starter today. They also made two other deadline moves as they tried to back up offensive lineman Russell Okun and a 6th round pick to the Giants for rookie defensive tackle Dalvin Tomlinson and sent veteran defensive tackle Brandon Meebane to the LA Rams for the 3rd year offensive lineman Rob Havenstein. So the Chargers offensive line will be Lamp, Feeney, Slauson, Havenstein will be starting at right guard, and Barksdale at the right tackle spot. Patriots 5-2. and two. It's a little surprised they're that bad. Here comes out Brett Hundley's team. He's going to be the starter until Phillip Rivers fully recovers, which shouldn't be too long, but for the next few games, it will be Hundley as Melvin Gordon on Hundley's first play. Will gain 5. Gordon's been struggling after a very good start. So now it's second and five for the LA Chargers after a five-yard game from Gordon. Hundley's going to pass it, and his first pass will be completed to the rookie Mike Williams, which will only gain three. It's third and two for the Chargers on the 33-yard line. Hundley landed off to Melvin Gordon, who gets the first down somehow, and will gain like 10 or 11 as well. So now it's first and 10 on the 44. Hundley will pass it again. This time he's going to look for Keenan Allen. Bad pass, but caught by Keenan Allen. That was not Keenan Allen's route, however, Keenan Allen still for grab. Keenan Allen had an excellent week last week, almost 200 yards on eight catches. It's third on eight for Hundley and the Chargers. Hundley fake handoff to Melvin Gordon. He's going to scramble with it. He's going to scramble. He's going to get the first down, and he's going to lose the football in the end zone, but it will be picked up by a Charger, and they're going to get the score. No clue going to get credit with a touchdown. Probably Hundley, but... What a play from Los Angeles, getting them the early lead. Let's see who picked it up. Hunley lost it. High Tower was there, and it looked like Hunley might have picked. Yeah, Hunley picked Here it up. Here comes out Tommy. I'm not going to call him terrific. Here comes out Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. It's first and 10 of a 28. Brady will fake hand it off to Deion Lewis, and Joey Bosa is right there. He's been great this season. He's gotten at least one sack. Every game so far, and quickly, he gets his sack this week. I believe he's now at 14 and a half, and we're not even halfway done the season yet, which is insane. He's he's on pace to break the sack record. 21, Deion Lewis just lost two. I think you can guess who made the play, and of course, it was Mr. Joey Bosa. So third and 21 on the 18, Tom Brady will pass it under pressure over to Edelman, who in real life got hurt, and a nice tackle from Jalila Daye. Will not let Edelman get the first down, and the Patriots are going to have to punt it. First and 10 on the 33 for Los Angeles. Hundley will pass. He's under pressure, and he'll be brought down by Elandon, I think his name is. Roberts. I only know him from a Lions rebuild stream I did. Other than that, I'd have no clue who it's he is. Third and 15 on the 28 for the LA Chargers. Hundley. They hand off to Brandon Oliver. He's scrambling. He's going to look for Keenan Allen, who gets intercepted. By Malcolm Butler. So after a very good first drive, it's going to be a three and out, or kind of a three and out, but just Malcolm Butler intercepted. It's second and nine on the 36 for the want to call him the Patriots, but the Patriots fans are going to get triggered. As Brady looking for joint Edelman, jukes by Boston, has the first down. There goes Edelman. He's not going to get caught. Yeah, he's not going to get caught, and the Patriots. Will probably tie this game. On the 32 for the Chargers. As Hunley will pass it. He's going to scramble. He's under pressure. And he'll be brought down. And he's injured. Wow. Oh, wow. We trade from not only, not even one quarter later, and he's injured. That was Coney Ely on the sack, by the way. Hoping we did not give away Craig Mager, Karan Reed, and that seventh round pick away for a three. Not that that's too big of a deal, but still. As Clemens looking for Tyro. Williams hits caught by Williams. Tiptoeing himself inbounds. That's a gain of 31. Good start for Kellen Second Clemens. Second and eight on the 44-4 for the LA Chargers. As Kellen Clemens looking to pass it once again to his new best friend Tyro Williams. 
And Williams will gain a little update on the Brett Hundley injury. He has a shoulder tear. Will not be returning to this ball game. And after the game, we will check on how, like, severe is his injury or the timetable or Second whatever. Second quarter underway. The Chargers are almost in the red zone as Clemens will give it to Melvin Gordon. And he fumbled it. Good start to the second quarter. Second and ten on the 21 for Brady. As he will pass it on second down under pressure from Bosa. He's going to be found. Rob Gronkowski. And Rob Gronkowski is going to take it the distance. Another two-play drive for the New England Patriots. They've barely been on offense today. The Patriots not only took advantage of both takeaways, but quick advantage. Two two-play drives leading in long touchdowns from Edelman and Gronkowski, respectively. As on second and ten, Clemens, who was aiming for Mike Williams, will be sacked by Roberts, his second sack of the game. One in each quarterback. And now it is third and pretty darn long. Third and 17 is Clement. They hand off to Melvin Gordon. He's going to look for one-on-one 50-50 ball with Mike Williams. And it's brought down by Mike Williams. Clement, 3-for-3, three three, 97 yards. Three very long plays so far. That was 46 yards for Williams. Three second and 10 on the 19 is Clement. Will look for Tyrell Williams. Williams first down. There goes Williams. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, L.A. Chargers, and they're going to tie this game up. It is first and 10 of a 47 for the Patriots. Brady will fake hand it off to Deion Lewis under not too much pressure. He's going to be intercepted by the middle linebacker Denzel Perryman, and he's going to bring the ball to the 45. How many times do you see Brady throwing a pick? I mean, I wish it was more After often. After the Perryman interception, the Chargers offense is back on the field. So, uh, let's see if Kellen Clemens can uh, do some more as it's going to be a pass to Keenan Allen. Allen first down, and Allen's going to make it to the 31. Jude's offense will return after the interception. Last drive is Brady. Will fall. Oh, my gosh. The lawn plays today. The Patriots offense has barely been out on the field due to these lawn plays. I mean, at least their running backs aren't looking like Marshawn Lynch from Week 6, and Perkins, and Blunt, and Spencer Ware from the three games before. So I guess we have that to be grateful about. So now it's first 10 of a 41. Clemens. Play fake to Gordon, looking for Keenan Allen again. And of course, Keenan Allen will come down now with that it. we have here today, folks. Tom Brady versus Kellen Clemens. I remember, Clemens didn't even start. It was Brett Hundley. was on third down. Clemens looking for Antonio Gates in the end zone. Bad pass. Intercepted by Malcolm Butler, his second on the day. One from Brett Hundley, and now one from Clemens. The Patriots have only run 11 offensive plays because of their quick drives, and only two of them have been runs. I remember, just two weeks ago, Marshawn Lynch ran for 370 yards and four touchdowns. As Brady looking for Edelman, who broke a tackle, and it's going to get out of bounds at the 44. Brady is on pace to break the passing yards in one game record. Third and three, four of the Patriots. It's Brady. Under no pressure, we'll find an open Edelman breaking a touch's tackle and will get another touchdown. That's his least, yeah, his third of the ball game. And remember, we're still only in the first half as Tom Brady has kind of been destroying our secondary. Patriots unsurprisingly driving down the field as Brady on first down. Under no pressure, finds a wide open Gronkowski. He'll be trucked by Jason Verrett, I believe. Brady, 400 yards, and we just started the third quarter. Instead of it being first and goal on the six, it's third and 18 on the 29, thanks to the holding penalty by guard Joe Thune. I don't think I butchered that. Is Brady on third and long? We'll find Gronk, who will not get the first down. Jaheel Adaye with the stop. That's going to prevent the Patriots from getting a touchdown. Excellent kick return by Kenyon Barner brings the ball to the 34. As Clemens, his first pass here in the second half. Well, it's not going to be a pass because he's going to be sacked by Trey Flowers. I'm hoping we can take advantage of a nice kick return by Barner, but it's fair to 19 of the 42. As Clemens fake hand off to Gordon. He's scrambling. He's going to look deep for Mike Williams. One-on-one -on -one pass. And it's caught by Williams. And he's not in. I'm going to throw a challenge There is him. nothing to challenge. Let's look okay, at the reason. So Williams is catching the pass. Both feet are down. 
He has possession of the football. Does he not have possession? That's clearly a touchdown. The refs are clearly a joke. Well, it looks like we're going to have to settle for a field goal. That seems like what I would say if it's a fake, but we weren't actually faking it. And we missed it. Beautiful. It is second and ten on the 49 for the Patriots, and Mr. Brady is... Brady finds an open Chris Hogan, and oh, wow. That's, that's a perfect definition of this game. What should have been a five-yard catch, Brady is almost 500 yards. I believe the record like 560-ish. Oh, no. Well, the Chargers offense is back. It has, it has its ups and downs, but of course, Patriots offense is just not given us a chance. It's Melvin Gordon with a juke. Melvin Gordon with a spin move. There goes Melvin Gordon with another juke, and he'll finally brought, be brought down. At the 36 yard line. Second and seven on the third on the 44. Brady's looking to pass. He's under pressure. And he'll be brought down by who else? But Joey Bosa. He's at around 15 sacks. Yeah, see 15. And this, remember, this is the eighth game of the year. Joey Bosa has been destroying offensive lines and quarterbacks all season long. And now it's third and long for New England. Is Brady under more pressure? He'll be intercepted by Denzel Perryman again. He already intercepted him earlier. And this time, Denzel Perryman will take it to the house. His second INT of the game. And the Chargers will make it a little closer. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we did get a field goal. After, like, Melvin Gordon had a run. Barely did anything, and we were able to kick a field goal. We all know that uh, Tom Brady's been very good, almost 500 yards. But eight receptions and almost half of those yards belong to Julian Edelman. He has been... Insane is on first down. Brady will be sacked by Corey Legion, I believe. Dalvin Tomlinson was there as now well. Second and very long for the Patriots. Second and 22. Brady will find Chris Hogan. And, of course, he gets the first down. And Brady now is 500 yards as we enter the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter underway. Chargers 27. Patriots 38. As Brady under pressure. It's going to be Melvin Ingram. With the sack, and it's going to be second and 18. Pretty sure Norm Van Brocklin is the quarterback who has the record. I think he played for like the Rams and the Eagles and stuff. He had 554 in his passing whatever thing. As it's going to be to Brandon Cooks, who's been awfully quiet today. Brady now at 536. I accidentally didn't show it, but Brady's now at 565. I accidentally didn't show it. And Deion Lewis is going to get stopped losing nothing actually but I forgot to show it I, I honestly kind of like that in a way I don't want you guys to have to deal with the pain of Brady breaking a record Third and goal do we go in zone coverage or do we blitz Brady the only one in the backfield Charger sending heavy pressure and he was wide open that's Brady's sixth touchdown I know a bunch of players have seven I'm pretty sure that's the record to put it simple I'm extremely grateful that next week's our bye week because this team, like, really needs it. And, of course, Kellen Clemens is going to be sacked by Roberts again. It is fair to 19 for the Chargers as Clemens will be sacked again by Coney Ealy, who injured Brett Hundley earlier in the game. I need a first down this play. I just want to get closer to the first down line just so if we have to go for it on fourth down... It'll be easier. Spoiler alert, if we don't get this first down, we're going for it. And Mike Williams is wide open, so... And he, and he fumbled it. And no one can... Yep, yep, that's a perfect display of this game. The Chargers decided not to use their timeouts. And that's how this one will end. The Patriots will improve to 6-2, and two, and the Chargers will go down to the complete opposite, 2-6. and six. We're going to check if Brady beat the record. I'm pretty sure he did. However, I'm not certain. I'm 98% sure he did, though. Yep. Yep. He, he broke the record. So, uh, not, we've allowed the most passing yards in a game and the most rushing yards in a game in a matter of three weeks. Thank goodness next week is our bye week.